We're here at Air Adventure. It's opening day. And one of the great attractions of the show this year is going to be the airplane that's behind us. And nobody knows what this is. I'm Dan Johnson, and I'm talking with Steve Pugh today. And you are the CEO of a new company that's introduced a new product here. Tell us a little bit about the company, and then mainly tell us about what this thing is behind us. Yeah, Dan, thanks very much, and good morning. Well, the company is uh, pretty new, MVP.aero. We uh, have what we think is a really exciting concept for light sport. It's essentially uh, what we're calling a trifibian. It's uh, water, obviously, it's land, but not just uh, dry land, it's snow and ice, because this uh, airplane's been built in Minnesota and they get a lot of that snow and ice up there. Well, so they not only in Minnesota, but way <laughs> north in Minnesota. Indeed. So you got like snow and ice uh, like nine or 10 months of the year, right? That's right. Well, maybe not quite that much. That's right. be fair to the Minnesota friends. <laughs> But uh, what we want to do is essentially have an airplane that you, you don't just fly where you're going and then you have to leave it and rent a boat or, or uh, that sort of thing. We're trying to give you much more value from your airplane and that's what you see behind you. So as you can also see, it's got the fishing pole out there. We're going for the bass boat market as well. Um, you don't need your fast 400 horsepower bass boat anymore. You can, you can fly to the next clear pool. But that's the idea, to make it as usable as possible. Also, the wings folding like that, we're aiming for you to be able to use a marina slip. Something that's uh, really difficult with an amphib very often is docking with the lower wing configuration it can be quite difficult and you're piloting it on your own you're trying to fend off it's it's a tough job and we're trying to make it as easy to do so you can fold the wings back and then uh, with a little thruster you can uh, motor back in into your slip and now, there's then, a lot of stuff there so let mm, me interrupt you just I'm for a sorry. second to say this that uh, in, a, in, a, in a float plane that is in a land aircraft to which floats have been added mm -hmm. you sit up much higher so coming to a dock which is a common way to get yes. where you're going yes. the wings are way high and it's easy to get around a dock and so Correct. forth but in a seaplane that sits down in the water even with high wings those wings aren't that high that's so right. to get to the dock is a little bit of a challenge. So the wings can fold yep. from while you're in the airplane. That's correct. You, okay. you, uh, it is a manual fold um, because of course we're dealing. They just swing back. They just swing back and lock. You can do that on the water. You have to stop the prop, of course. Um, but then, so you, that creates then its own problem. Okay. So you got the wings folded. You stop. The prop is not usable anymore. Correct. And you said something about a thruster. Tell us a little bit more about what that. Means. Well, Mike Van Stagen can tell you a lot more about it than I can, but essentially, and we know there's a weight penalty here for anything you add like that, but we're experimenting with a, a bilge pump that also gives us thrust. Now, you have to have a bilge pump, because yeah. you do get water inside the, the hull and you yeah. got to get it out of there. Yeah. So you've got to have that anyway, Yeah. and you're planning to use that as a method to propel the aircraft with the prop stops and the wing folded Correct. back into a marina slip. Yeah. That's yep. a pretty slick feature that I don't think I've heard in other aircraft. No, well, we're, we're trying to, as I say, come up with ways that this is more like a boat when it's on the water, as much as an airplane can be a boat on the water. But as well, what we're aiming for is the people that want to get out there and camp. So there'll also be a tent integral to the canopy. So when the canopy comes up and back, um, there'll be a tent that's integral that rolls down from the canopy, clips around the nose, and you've got a, a two-person sleeping platform. There's so much to cover here about this airplane that we're going to have to talk to Mike and perhaps yes. Daryl as well and get some more details. Yeah. But since you're the CEO of the company, you see, mm -hmm. come back to... The name of the company is MVP.Aero, right? That's right. So you're very That's modern right. in the sense of you're having a web name as your yes. company name. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, we, uh, like you do, we're uh, great believers in, in web and social media. I come from a software background, and as does Daryl, of course. Um, Mike Linz is our uh, media guy, um, has done all the video, and, and we just really believe that this is the way that we'll get the message out there. Um, MVP 
most versatile plane. Um, some people have said maximum value proposition. <laughs> Mike Van Stagen says, hey, it's Mike B's plane, but we're trying to discourage that. Um, well, I like most versatile. That other thing is too much of a corporate buzz speed <laughs> it thing. Is, but, uh, it is. Most versatile plane, that kind of works. There's yeah. a lot more to talk about here. How about we get one of your other guys and let's get some more information. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks for a lot, talking guys. with us. Uh, Steve Pugh, CEO of MVP.Aero. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah.